So I recently bought this Asus laptop and uh, its internal hard drive is really, really slow. So I bought another hard drive, a Seagate hybrid hard drive to replace it with. Now I'm gonna show you how you can uh, open up this laptop and replace the hard drive. First, there are a bunch of screws on the back of the laptop. I'm just taking them off first. Now with all of the apparent screws removed, we have to take off the rubber padding to expose some of the, the other screws hidden below them. Now we, remove, now we remove the two screws under the rubber paddings. Notice that these screws are black and they're different from the screws that we removed that were around the laptop here. There are not any screws hidden below the two frontal rubber pads here. So now we can just try to pry the back panel open. Thank you. 
All right, now we see the gorgeous motherboard below the back plate. Here's what the back plate looks like. Uh, all right, let's continue. On the motherboard here, you can see uh, the internal hard drive that came with it here. And here's a stick of RAM. And also there's a second RAM slot, which you can add your new RAM into. Now I do not know what frequency this RAM is, or if it's DDR4 or DDR3, but I will post it in the video description below after I check it on the motherboard. Now what we are gonna do is that we will remove screws that hold that hold the hard drive tray. And I think there are also two screws hidden below this tape here. Right, right here. Take that out. So the second one is on the other corner. You can just pull up the tape actually. I don't know what the tape is here for. Maybe you guys can answer it in the comment section below. Now you just pull it lightly from the hard drive tray and you get the hard drive out. You can see on the side of the tray that there are four additional screws that hold the hard drive to the plate. Now you remove those to release the old hard drive. Last one. Also, for you who are wondering, the internal battery's capacity is, it says 42 watt hours, which isn't too good. It's a little bit more than the iPad Air 1, which has about 33 watt hours, I think. So the battery is small, to be honest. And here you see the uh, original Seagate one terabyte mobile HDD it came with. Um, this one is really, really slow, so I highly recommend you get an either an SSD uh, or a hybrid hard drive if you prefer more capacity and a cheaper storage solution. It's a little bit slower, but it's much cheaper and holds a lot of things. I got this one terabyte uh, mobile HDD for $50, I think. So I do recommend this mobile. Uh, hybrid hard drive from Seagate. All right, here it is. Now we put it back into the laptop and just push in. You install the long screws to the uh, right side of the hard drive tray.
gonna put the this thing back on. Put the tape back on. I don't know if it serves a purpose, but since it was here, I just put it back on. There it is. Now we just replace the hard drive. Next step is to put the back plate back on. But before you do all the screws, you should try to start the system to see the, if the new hard drive is connected properly, or else you will have to go back and recheck the connection. So I'm gonna put this back on lightly and just turn on the laptop to see if it works. Now let's put the back plate back on. First, just press hard on the plate on the back panel to make sure that every everything is locked in before you do the screws. Just press it, you should hear the clicks. Now we go back to the go back and put on, put on the screws. The two black screws are for the uh, for here. Blow the rubber paddings. And then the rest of them are uh, all have different sizes. So it's gonna take a little time to figure out which one, which one goes where. Now, when you reinstall the screws, you have to know that the two really short ones, the two really short screws go in the front corner here, and there is a screw that's longer than all the other ones, and that goes in the back here. All the other screws from here to here, I think, have the same length, so it doesn't matter where you arrange the screws, how you arrange the screws. And now we're done. This is one of my first video uploads. So uh, if you liked my video, I will keep doing more hardware reviews and uh, repair guides. Please subscribe to my account in the bottom below.